Hey, my name is Michael, and I'm sitting here with David. And here, and this is where he has done a lot of art, art sculptures that he's got. Um, and we are really here just to bring you to our house to, to let y'all see how we work and the things we do. Uh, today is storytelling day. And what it is, is I want everybody to know, that I've heard all of David's stories, <laughs> and I love every one of them, but, but how he became an artist and how he got to America. Uh, it, it, it's an intriguing story, but anytime that I come to see him, I always try to bring him a, a gift of some sort. So I always, hey, I always bring him a gift. There you go, man. There you go, man. Whoa, man. What happened? Oh, uh, let me see it. <laughs> I didn't get the rest of mine now. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> Hey, what about me, man? Mm, oh, yeah. Mm, mm. All right. Cheers. So, thank so, you, man. It's so, good. sit back and let us hear, hear the story of David Ciani. Uh, since I was seven, I started going to school in my country. My country is Guatemala. I was born in Guatemala in 1961. And uh, I started going to school in 1967. In 1969, I met this carpenter around my neighborhood. He's an old, old, old style, old school, old school carpenter. They don't use no screws, no nails, yeah. tops, yeah. tops exactly. and glue. He's a great carpenter. He do all kind of furniture. They do chairs, beds, anything, you know. And every time I go to the store catch my eye attention like whoa this guy is incredible yeah he got carving steels you know carving yeah, yeah, wood you know tools all the tools and yeah, that. so yeah. from all the blocks around a lot of kids will and try to be there and he always hey get out of here get out of here kick us out and i always stop and look at him and he always told me to go out go 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 one time i stopped by and he wasn't inside he wasn't watching me. He left a broom. He got a whole bunch of uh, wood chips around. So I started brooming in the front of the shop. And he gets so mad and to me and says, Hey, what are you doing? So I was just cleaning. He's got to get upset. Give me my broom. Get out of here. It happened like three times. I think he was on purpose leaving the broom here a couple of times for me to watch it and yeah. see what I do with the broom. So he's like testing me. <laughs> so everybody's like scared to go and talk to him because he got a grumpy old man. Yeah, yeah. But I always see woman, young, <laughs> medium age, and older woman come oh, to his yeah. place. Cause a he's lot got of women. The money. <laughs> it's all about the money. Everything is about the money. <laughs> but I didn't know that. So I start coming, coming and keep cleaning and everything. And one day he told me, "Why are you cleaning my shop?" And it says. I like what you do. I like. I, I think I can learn. And I says, I'm not gonna teach nobody. I says, I'm not teaching nobody. I don't like kids around my shop. You can get hurt. And I tell him, I'm not gonna get hurt. I'm not a dumb. I'm a man. Yeah, I'm a man, and I, I, I can learn. So he look at me like, you little kid. Okay, mm -hmm. go home. He went inside. One, another time I pass by, every time I go, my mom send me to the store, buy something, I stop by. Yeah. This time he was like, moving this big wheel. He moved the wheel and go and lay the wood. Get the wheel running and he go back to the lay. So I says, can I help you? He says, no, 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 I don't need your help. Come on, I can do that. And he look at me and says, mm, come here. See if you can turn that thing on. That is hard. I was like nine years old, yeah, yeah. you know. <laughs> but I did, I did it, I did it. So he started yeah. carving and I asked him names. I always ask questions. Yeah. And he says, why you always ask questions? I says, how am I gonna know? How am I gonna learn if I don't ask questions? That's it. You know, so I, I always ask questions. So I get into the room and he started let me come into the shop, work in the shop. The first thing I do is go and clean his shop. He likes that. He likes that. He. What about the five cent? What about the five cent that you had? And you just want a piece of wood. Well, I came. <laughs> I came to him. 
through the days, I says, he didn't let me use his tools because he's so delicate with his tools. No, 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 don't touch that. No, no, you're gonna cut, cut, blah, blah. He never let me use his tools. I says, I want you to sell me a piece of wood. <laughs> he saw me and said, what kind of wood you want? I want that piece of wood. Got a little strip, but this 20 inches long, mm -hmm. the stick out of red oak. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful red oak. And I, he says, what do you want it for? Oh, I'm gonna do something with it. How much money you have? And I said, five cents. <laughs> I said, I got five cents. Five cents. cents. Mm -hmm. Five cents. Mm -hmm. They have been saving because it's hard to have a, a penny uh -huh. back yeah, then yeah, in the days. Yeah, yeah. So I say the five cents. He says, well, give me the five cents. So I give him my five cents one by one. Yeah. And then he, he handled the piece of wood to me. And then I took it home and I break uh, the old Coca-Cola bottles. Yeah, yeah. I break one of the Coca-Cola bottles and I get one of the pieces of glass and I start carving. I draw it in my wood. I start carving, carving, carving. It took me maybe like three weeks. I carved this beautiful wood knife from the handle all the way to the sharp blade. Mm. And I sand mm. it and sand it with the knife and everything. Beautiful. Then I put them right here. Every time I go to school, uh, uh, to the store, I was carrying here. Like, I uh, like yeah, yeah. weapons, you know? Yeah, yeah. And then uh, I came in and, and he saw me and he says, let me see what you did have in there. So I got my sword. Little sword like this and I give it to him and says, who make this for you? I said, nobody make this for me. I made it. How you make these lines? Like a fish. The handle looked like a fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. So what I did, I took one of those little saws, wood saws, and make all the grooves. Uh -huh. And then I carve it with the with the knot with a piece of glass. Oh, and then God. sand it little by little. It takes time. Yeah, yeah. He was impressed with my work. And he says, Who teach you to how to do that? He said, You're not gonna believe if I said. Who? I said, You. I never teach you. Oh, he said, that is yeah. awesome. <laughs> he said, you know, I never teach you that. And I said, yeah, but I saw you. How you do with your yeah. carpet. And he's like, that was it. That that's was it. it. That's you it. Was in, that, you was in the house. Yeah, man. that was in the house. Yeah. And that's how I started getting craft hand in my hand.